<laughs> yeah, what if we did some trading or something? We could, yeah, totally. Oh, yeah. Triple trio. <laughs> Triple trio. <laughs> We're a band called Audubon. We're from Toronto, Ontario. This is Ian Wright on drums, James Hill, piano, Jeff Lauer Shell on tenor saxophone and bass clarinet. In 2012, we booked a show with a bass player and he didn't show up to the gig because he double booked himself. Three of us had a great time playing together and we wanted to pursue it further as a band. So we started playing some shows and writing music together. I've been playing a lot with bass and drums in the saxophone trio setting. And I found that adding a piano, there's more colors and a, a, a better use of harmony. I guess there are more important use of harmony from the, the piano players, so. I have complete freedom with chords and just harmony in general. And poor Jeff over here, you know, I'm playing, <laughs> I never play what's actually written on the page and then he ends up having to hear what I'm doing. Ian's also got this great 24 inch bass drum. The absence of a bass player allows for room to experiment with frequency ranges through your instrument, through additional instruments, and arrangements of the composition. We did a little bit of uh, you know, taking advantage of the studio mm -hmm. and some effects and stuff, um, just to enhance, just thinking about it as an album and more of like a, a statement sonically and, and definitely the room we picked, the liveliness of that room at Revolution, I think it gives it its own like unique sonic character for sure. There's a song called Roots of the Tree, which was a, a solo saxophone improvisation by myself. I thought that one was really interesting. It's like a nice breath in between two somewhat heavy tracks on our record. We strategically placed tracks so that we could pace it uh, so that you're not going to feel overwhelmed by the you know intensity of it. Because we tend to have a pretty intense uh, band dynamic. I feel that this record's much more dynamic as well. There's more ups and downs and there's more attention to detail mm. that way rather than going to the stratosphere every time. Um, we're, we're trying to think of new ways of playing. And... Garnered a lot of inspiration from our producer, Rich Brown, who helped us out a lot in the studio. He knows where we're coming from and he's able to provide suggestions that um, that, that make sense to us and that can further the music. He knows the, the kind of music we're trying to make, so um, having him there at the rehearsals in the studio is, is really valuable. A lot of the influences in their music are, are friends of mine. Uh, so I'm familiar with the sound that they are uh, going for for this new recording. My job as producer is to uh, bring out that sound, but also uh, focus the sound of Autobahn and maybe enhance the sound of Autobahn. The fact that they're a bassist trio um, shouldn't dissuade anyone. When you listen to this music, nothing is missing. All the elements are there and all the boxes are checked. It's not only a joy to be a part of the project, it's a joy to just sit back and listen to this band. I think that's the take, man. I think so, too. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> Nick really knows where we're coming from. We've grown together um, at, the, at the BAMP Center, 
And he also is able to bring things out in the recording that we wouldn't have known of otherwise. Mm. Our sound and our dynamic has really um, benefited from his input. Our first album, The River, featured uh, some great artwork by our friend Natalie Field. And she also did the artwork for our new record, Of The Tree. I think it's, you know, an accurate representation of our music in the sense that we think very visually when we play. During the recording process, we were talking about, like, after some of the impro improvised stuff, we would say, oh, I was thinking about this when we were playing. Right. Yeah. I was thinking about oh, Ian's we... dog. <laughs> Very, I really think Of The Tree has uh, seen us kind of coming of age and, and uh, ourselves as musicians. It's a really uh, collaborative effort from mm -hmm. us and uh, we've really been able to oversee every detail of the process from the rehearsals to the recordings and the studios and mixing. We'll be touring it this summer across Canada. I'm very excited to see where our compositions take us the next time we play them. A lot of the music that's on Of The Tree has never been heard, um, especially the improvised stuff from the record. I'm really looking forward to showing people what we've done in the studio because it's something I feel really passionately about and I want to see if you know other people feel the same way.